Okay, YouTube, how about an automotive video today? Um, it's been a while, so what the hey. Uh, it's a 2001 Ford Focus 2.0. I think it's the VIN 3. Um, <clears throat> came in, it had overheated, lost all its coolant. Of course, the customer never knows which order it happened in, but I'm guessing it lost its coolant and then overheated. Anyway, this is the version. Let me get my flashlight out here. This is the version with the water pump that is not driven by the timing belt. I believe they, I believe some of these are, but this one's not. It's water pumps right there. Timing belt's still intact here for now. But um, the coolant was coming out of this area. Um, I have determined it is not the water pump. And I actually hooked a smoke machine up to the coolant system because it's, it's empty. It's a pretty massive leak. And the coolant is actually coming... That's too bright for the dang camera. Coolant's actually coming from behind this rear timing cover, behind all this timing stuff here. So, my guess is a freeze plug. But, as you can see, it takes some time to get to it. This isn't going to be a how-to video, just a uh, more of a heads-up that, hey, if you got a leak and it's not your water pump, this might be what you're going after. So, until I get some of this other stuff apart, hang tight. All right, guys, got it all apart. Got the smoke machine hooked up. Let's see what happens. There's the freeze plug. Doesn't look the healthiest, does it? Here we go. There is a little bit of a leak there, but that's because the clamp's not on it. I think there is a tiny little pinhole there that you can see with your naked eye. Plus it's wet. This is just for proof. Oh, there's coolant. Check it out. All this for a freeze plug. Wow. So there you have it. Ten cent part. A lot of work. Alright guys. Got some of the other stuff out of the way. I figured I'd get down in here and get a better shot of this for you. It's kind of interesting if you think about it because check it out. They circled the problem. Right there it is. It's more of an oval I guess than it is a circle but just kidding. But anyway, see a little pinhole there on the left side? The right side's not looking the greatest either. <clears throat> like I said though, this is not an instructional video. It's just more of a heads up that if you got a coolant leak on the front, it's not necessarily your water pump. There's numerous things it could be. This isn't really one of the more common things, but obviously, here we are. It happens, so. Um, if you are planning on doing this yourself, you might want to get one of those little bars that help align the camshafts. It's not 100% necessary, but it does make it easier, so. Anyway, figured I'd share that with you. Hope it helps someone out to pinpoint their problem a little quicker. Um, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.